Aw yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today I want to show you the G910 Wireless Bluetooth Game Controller. This guy can connect wirelessly to tablets, smartphones, and Android Mini PCs. I've been using it a lot with the Minix Neo X7, but it should work with most Android Mini PCs as long as they have Bluetooth. It looks a lot like an Xbox controller, but it's actually a lot more like a Moga Pro Gaming Controller. Here you can see it's got triggers on the back, and it's got two sets of them, so two on each side. It's also like the Moga gaming controller because it's got this clamp right here that you can put your phone in. It's fully adjustable all the way up to the size of the Note 3, but unlike the Moga, it's got a really good price. To connect the controller, just link up the Bluetooth, then go to language and input, and check the box for the controller to be an input device. Then slide your phone into the clamp and you're ready to go. There's also some more software that you can install on your phone or Android Mini PC that will make it work a whole lot better, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So some games like Shadowgun work really well with this controller and uh, right out of the box it connected up and I'm playing Shadowgun with no extra software. But other games like Asphalt 8, I needed to install third party software for the controller to fully work. And I'll show you all that in just a minute. We're also going to want to update the firmware on the controller and I'll show you how to do that as well. So in Asphalt 8 I could never get this controller to fully work with the game. I would connect it with Bluetooth adjust the inputs and it just wouldn't fully work. Some buttons would work, others wouldn't. Until I installed this software called OpenPad Union on the Android Mini PC and then it worked really good in Asphalt 8. I'll put a link to this software in the video description down below. You might need to update the firmware on your controller also to make it work correctly with this software. To install this firmware it's a little bit tricky but I'll try to walk you through it. So first hold start and select at the same time on the controller while you plug in the USB cable. This update is kind of like an Android mini PC, so first you'll install the USB drivers and then you'll update the firmware on the controller. So once you plug it in, you'll hear a ding and you'll go to device manager and you should see an unknown device there. And you'll choose update driver and then specify the location where you downloaded the drivers to. Now these are unsigned drivers, so if you're using Windows 8, you need to go into unsigned driver mode, and I'll put a link to how to do that in the description below. It's fairly complicated. Now here I'm installing it in Windows 7, and you can see you just get this red warning box saying the driver's unsigned. And just go ahead and accept that, and then it will install the rest of the way. Once you have the USB driver installed, open up the update Android EXE. Now you're going to need to point it to the location of the image file that's in the ING folder and choose update. If everything works okay, you'll see the status bar go. If it stops at 1%, then you know your USB driver is not installed correctly and you gotta go back and get that installed correctly. Here's a list of games that work with the G910 when you use the OpenPad Union software. It's got a lot of my favorites on there. Once you've got everything installed, you should see this new screen at the start of Asphalt 8 and your controller should be working. This is probably the best controller that I've used with an Android mini PC so far. This and the Moga Pro are both pretty darn good. I'll put links to both in the about section down below. Alright, well don't forget to hit that like button down there, that'll really help me out a lot. And if you like this review of the G910 controller, hit that subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when I have new videos coming out every week or two. Also, I'll be going to CES in January and I'll be uploading all my videos from there on my other channel, Rivers First Look. Who knows, maybe I'll get a sneak peek at the latest Minix Android Mini PC that will be coming out, or some other Android set-top box devices. So be sure and subscribe there as well, and I'll add a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.